what is good what is good everybody welcome back to the channel soul gamer once again and i got actually we got a correction i guess to make to one of my previous uh tutorials i guess wasn't necessarily a tutorial for this specifically, but um, I didn't include the full process in that video. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. And we'll get that to that in a moment. But again, I just wanted to put it out there. Um, if you haven't already checked out my GTA 5 underscore modding subreddit to open invite to anybody that wants to go join it's going to be or it is all about gta modding you can post your videos there tips tricks ask questions anything along those lines here's the link reddit.com slash forward slash r forward slash gta5 underscore modding that underscore is important because there is another one that is just GTA 5 modding, I believe. Um, but mine specifically is GTA 5 underscore modding. So um, if you want to join that community, trying to get that built up, uh, the link is also going to be down in the description. It's in the description of all my videos. So check that out. If you want to become a member, please do so. Again, all about GTA 5 modding. Post your videos, your questions. You know, feel free to answer questions if any if anybody has any on there or any tips and tricks. So, with that out of the way, <laughs> uh, what we're doing today, well, we'll get to that in a second. Um, this video is going to be about creating a custom maps folder. Um, this is going to be used to install a lot of your YMAP files for custom maps. And um, in the last video that I addressed this, I showed how to create the folder, but there's another aspect of that folder um, that some of the maps need, which is the dlc.rpf file. And that's what I forgot to include in that particular video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go over the whole process again today real quick and show you guys how to create a custom maps folder with the dlc.rpf file inside of it all right so again the beginning part of it is like adding a custom car um, so what you're going to first want to do is go to your main gta 5 directory go into mods go to update x64 and then dlc packs and then you could just right click in here and why can't I find <laughs> new folder? <laughs> and then go to new and then select folder. It's important that you name it custom underscore maps. All right, so we have it added here. Now you wanna launch your open IV. Now this part is very important because it won't work without it. Um, you wanna go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, data, scroll down to your DLC list, select edit, and right click, duplicate current line. Again, that's my preferred way of doing it. And just deleting what's in between the brackets here and then entering custom maps again just like this this portion is just like adding a add-on car except you're creating the folder instead of it being a folder that you downloaded all right so now we have our custom maps folder and now what a lot of the y map uh, maps require is once you go at once you download it requires that you go to mods like for example this technology garage 
um, I'm going to reinstall. I've had it installed before, but I'm going to reinstall it now because I'm doing a lot of reinstallation. Um, if you've noticed, the, the path for it is mods, update, x64, and then once, you know, blah, 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 get to custom maps. And then it has you drill down further. But if you just add the custom maps folder and we follow that path, You'll notice I have nothing in the custom maps, so we have to add the dlc.rpf uh, folder. Now, there, I did a lot of searching. Um, it's kind of tricky to find a download for it, but I'll link this particular mod in the uh, in the description. But map editor and menu to Y map converter. Now we're not actually going to use the converter in this particular situation, but what we're going to do is download it. I actually already have it downloaded, so let me just open it. Now if you download it and open up the folder, you'll notice it gives you a folder called example DLC pack. If you open up that, it even gives you a custom maps folder. So in theory, if you wanted to, you could just copy this folder over instead of creating your own custom maps. But since we already have custom maps, and we're going to open that, and here is the DLC.RPF folder that we need. All right, so we're going to we're going to want to move that over to our custom maps folder. So of course we're going to extract it. Let me just minimize this. I'm going to extract it to my desktop. Mm, oh, it edit it behind here. That's dumb. All right. <laughs> uh, so we're going to extract it to the desktop and then copy it over. Okay. So now we'll be able to finish that path that we have to do to install the technology mechanic garage, which is a custom map. So now we have the DLC.RPF folder. If we open that up, then we can go to X64 levels gta5 city e maps custom maps again and it already has a map in there you know i i've never actually used that map but um, you can use it if you want or, <laughs> or delete it um i actually haven't even checked to see where it's at or anything like that anyway um so let me go back and open up our technology mechanic folder uh, map that we want to install Again, extract it to the desktop and bam we add it now we have um, the dot our dlc dot rpf folder that way we can add the custom maps that require that now there are some y maps that you can just drop straight into the custom folder but some of them do require that you have this uh, dlc.rpf folder in there and so this is a way that you can get that so um, just want to test make sure that everything's working so i'll go ahead and start up gta5 and we will check to see if the technology mechanic garage is there all right all right so we are here in the game why the frank i'm running so slow bro uh, you might need some water. We'll get it. We'll drink a little bit of water just to get you going, bro. All right. We ain't gonna be playing long. So let's jump into Lambo. Man, things get dirty in this garage, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. Can't roll in a dirty Lambo. Alright, so let's roll. So the garage should be in this alleyway. Dumb luck right there. In fact, you know what? The uh, the video that I was initially showing how to install this the custom maps was what first time I installed the technology garage <laughs> I installed the uh, the garage but I had already had the custom maps on there and so um, 
I was going back and just looking at some of my old videos, and I realized that I, uh, I showed how to set up the, the map, the custom maps folder, <laughs> but not how to include that, that, uh, the dlc.rpf file, and I think it's because I already had it set up. <laughs> But uh, hopefully, if you watch that video and notice that you can catch this, I'm gonna link this to that video too. Um, so let's see. Yep, there it is. Technology Garage. I like this garage. Correction, Franklin likes this garage. This is the garage he works out of. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, that's one way that I found to, uh, I'm sure there's other ways to get that RPF, or the, uh, the DLC.RPF file. There's also, I know, some Y maps that you actually download will actually include a custom maps folder with that file in it. Um, I just don't know specifically which ones, so that's why um, I just find it easier to do it that way if, if you download a Y map that doesn't come with that. Uh, you can just add it like that. It, and it's pretty pretty easy to do. Um, so yeah. My bad about the first time around and not including that portion of it, but <laughs> again this is uh, this will be linked in the description of that video. Uh, so hopefully you catch it and uh, I hope this helps. If y'all like the videos, please, please like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Do a lot of tutorials and a lot of gameplay as well. Got Life of Franklin going on. Got some new uh, shorts coming out. We're going to do a series of famous cars, GTA style. So, I already got the first one up with the classic Eleanor. If y'all know what movie that is from go check out that short and put it in the comments but uh again i appreciate y'all watching and yeah i guess that's it for today <laughs> i'll catch y'all in the next video all right peace